large part of the festival is wrapped around education. There are heritage booths. That's where we met one teen who's using the celebration of Latino culture to help Latino families. Mark Mellinger now has the story. Sights, sounds, and tradition, all literally on parade in downtown Knoxville. I was hoping to get some tacos, man, but there's a lot more than tacos here. For instance, vendors like Allison Grussing. She's 14, and she's part of a booth raising money for Nuestros Niños, which translates to Our Children. It's a nonprofit that helps provide for the basic needs of families in Guatemala. We, like, buy things when we're down there because we do service trips, and then we bring back stuff, we sell it, and then all the money that we raise goes back to pay for all the service work that we do down there. Allison was born in Guatemala, then adopted. She has since been back on seven service trips. Well, there's a lot of poverty down there, but everyone just, you know, is just so thankful for what they have, even the little things, even if they don't have as much as we do in the United States. They're just so thankful and always so happy down there. Olaf Fest gives Allison a chance to help open the hearts of other people to the plight of Guatemalans. Eliodoro Lopez was one of countless folks checking out the cause and laying down their money to get involved. I think the Olaf Festival is wonderful. There's a lot of passionate people that are down here.